Hi everyone, Brianna Dignard here and welcome back to my channel. A couple weeks ago, I returned from a super fun weekend trip to Universal Studios and I was really inspired by all of the fun science that I saw there. So I thought for the next couple of videos, I would take the time to do kind of a little amusement park science theme. And today we're gonna start off talking about 3D glasses. Because a lot of the rides at Universal and many other amusement parks work by using a motion simulator car combined with 3D screens. So let's get to learning. <laughs> 3D glasses take advantage of the fact that we have binocular vision or really meaning that we have two eyes that are facing the same direction and are carefully spaced a certain distance apart. So our eyes take in two different images and then get combined in our brains in order to just generate a 3D image in general. So like our eyes are basically already 3D glasses because we view the world around us in three dimension. So in order for 3D glasses to work, you have to have your eyes, two different eyes, getting two different images. So there's a couple of different types of 3D glasses. The one that you may be most familiar with or like kind of iconic 3D glasses image are those red ones that have like a red lens in them and then either a green or a blue lens in them. And what these do is act as color filters. So for it, when you're trying to view an image with those type of 3D glasses, you'll have a red image and a blue image very closely laid on top of each other. And the glasses will actually filter out those images so that you only, one eye is seeing one in one, the other eye is seeing another image. And then your brain does the rest of the work to put it together to make it 3D. Now these don't work as well for really accurate color images on a screen because they're acting by a color filter. To make more color accurate screens work better. Most amusement parks and other places use these kind of brown tinted glasses that actually work by changing the polarization of light. So in a ride or a movie that uses this, they actually have two different projectors that are projecting the same video, but each video is made with a different polarization of light. And I'll talk a little bit about what light polarization is in a second. And your glasses you wear in one eye is letting one type of polarized light through, one directional polarized light through, and the other lens is letting another directional polarized light through. So again, your eyes, each eye is seeing a different image, and your brain combines to make it a 3D image on the screen that you see. Polarization of light has to do with the direction in which the light wave is traveling. So you'll have a light wave traveling along in one direction, um, but it can also be moving if it's unpolarized in all different kind of directions at once. So while the light may be going in this way, the light wave itself may be going back and forth, maybe going up and down. If it's unpolarized, there's no telling what that light is doing as it travels in a certain direction. If you have polarized light, you're filtered that light to only allow one particular movement of light to get through as it propagates. So by changing the polarization of light and which image gets fed to your glasses, that's how you can have a 3D image being created through this variation of 3D glasses. Then finally, there's this one that's called like active 3D and these are shutter lens glasses. So they actually will basically like shutter back and forth your left and right lens. So you won't see it for a brief second in your right eye, but you'd see it in your left eye and vice versa and just continually go back and forth and back and forth, creating two different images, which your eye again, or your brain again, pieces together to be one 3D picture. This is a more expensive technology and is not super utilized a lot right now in like more commercially like movies or rides, but can be used at home for like 3D televisions. And some people can actually even use 3D glasses because their eyes are not necessarily spaced the right width apart so it doesn't work well for them or even some other people are just not capable of taking two different images and having their brain process them into one. These people often also lack uh, the ability of depth perception, but they can overcome that using other visual cues. But when it comes to 3D glasses, they simply can't use them very well. So that was a little bit of information about 3D glasses. So you have your iconic red and blue ones, those brown tinted polarization of light ones that they use more commonly nowadays, and then even active 3D glasses. And this leads me into my fun fact to for today that we're going to rate is that the first 3D movie actually came out in 1922. That is way earlier than I expected. And if you think that's a really cool fun fact, please be sure to rate that fun fact on a scale of one to 10 in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love 
in making content for you guys to view and sharing all this information with you. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, tell all of your friends about it, follow me on Instagram, all those, all those good things. I post videos on every Tuesday and Friday and keep it sciencey!